see. Wait for some people to join, but good morning and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. Let's see who's joining this morning. I know it takes a few seconds for people to see that I'm here. Hi, Sherry. Welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 361, I think. Pretty sure that's what it said. If you're joining me live, please say hello. Let me know where you're from, what you're working on this morning, or if you have any questions for me. Hi, Frieza B, Naomi, and Judy. Good morning. Uh, what does that say? I can't read that name. Sorry. So it's a really long name, I think, that starts with crochet. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining live. Hi, Lisa and Rose. Thanks for joining live. I'm not wearing my microphone here because the birds are so gorgeous this morning, and I hope that you can hear them. It's that really pretty sounding uh, type of birds. So I'm guessing that that's the mockingbirds we were talking about the other day, and they're talking back and forth a whole bunch. Good morning from Michigan. Glad you could join live. Hi, Anna Maria. Yes, the birds sound amazing. I feel bad even talking over them, <laughs> but I guess that's not good either. Um, but I thought I'd keep my microphone off if that's okay, so I can share the beautiful bird songs with you. Hi, Judy and Chantel. Thanks for joining live. Sherry's working on pattern number nine from Layers. I can't remember the name right now either. Oh, oh, maybe. Is it Selena? No. I don't know. You're, uh, I don't know what you're working on either, Sherry. You know, my brain's been mush since I came back from my trip. Trip. Oh, the Agnes. Thank you, Lisa. It's the Agnes. Yes, that one's named after one of my grandmothers. I, uh, both my grandmothers are past, but uh, one was named Marion and the other one was named Agnes. And so um, I named that one after one of my grandmothers. Her name is Agnes and she's, she was from Denmark actually born and raised there she came here she came to north america in her 20s i believe hi melissa thanks for joining live sherry loves the pattern awesome it's very easy once you get the hang of it it's easy it's a top down round yoke uh sweater lisa's working on lots of patterns i think she means from layers that's awesome hi sharon thanks for joining live glad you could be here yeah, so I've had a tough time bouncing back from my work trip this weekend. And, you know, maybe it's because I don't travel much anymore. Maybe because I poured all my heart and soul into the trip. Uh, maybe a combination of both. But I've had a hard time getting back into my routine this weekend. And it's chillier than I expected this morning. Good morning, Joe. Thanks for joining. Hi, Denisha. It's a little cooler than I expected this morning. And windy. And the idea of going down to the beach and freezing when I'm this emotionally exhausted, I didn't think I could handle this morning. So I'm sorry if I sound like a wuss, uh, but I thought sitting back here with a blanket on and listening to the birds with you guys and talking about a few things seemed like something I could handle a little better. So <laughs> I apologize for not sounding strong and brave, but that was the best I could do this morning. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Thanks for joining live. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like the backyard, too. I do, too. I really do. Ah, a few other names I can't read. Guess my eyes aren't. My eyes are a little slow today, too. Travel is hard, Patty. It is. I don't know why, but it's just so draining. And I just put a lot of pressure on myself to do the very best that I could while I was there. And I did do the very best I could while I was there. Um, but you know, it wipes you out once you get home. <laughs> so today I get to go back to shipping. So thank you to everybody who placed orders while I was away. I really appreciate it very much. And all of those orders, most of them should go out today. Hi, Beatrice. Hi, Marnie. Yes, Brenda, this is a lovely place to have. Hi, Tammy. Thanks for joining live. Oh, so 
couple of things from the trip. I mean, so much. If you have any questions about what I posted in social media, please feel welcome to ask me. Uh, so you all probably know I was taping for Knit and Crochet Now, the TV show by Annie's that will be on PBS this summer. I taped for season 10. I did six segments of the, I did six segments for overall the 13 episodes. So I don't know which episodes I'll be on yet, but as we, I find out, I'll let you know too. Um, have a fun event planned for all of us when the uh, show comes out. I think I'm going to host a viewing party here at my house and then I'll do a live stream during the party so all of you can join. Won't that be fun? And I will, I'm going to come up with some recipes for appetizers for the party and I'll make those recipes a download so that you can know what we're having and make it too if you want. Hi Grace, thanks for joining live. So I think it'll be really fun if we do some sort of a party and add in the live stream element to it so that everybody can be included. So I've got that planned in the back of my head, but I'll need to get some more details on when it's airing or if I'll have a DVD or what have you. Um, yes, the other highlight of the trip was meeting Jonah Larson and his mom, Jennifer Larson. They were incredibly kind and gracious and sweet people, and I thoroughly enjoyed meeting them very much. I got to... Uh, they both asked me questions that I was able to, that I had knowledge. Uh, how do I say this? They both, you know, you never know what somebody wants to learn, right? And I didn't want to pre be presumptuous and say, oh, Jonah, what can I teach you? And he, he kind of already knows what he wants to know. And just like me, uh, he has YouTube to learn anything else he wants to know, which I love that about him because that's exactly how I feel. If you want to learn something, the information's out there. But there were a couple of subjects that I was able to answer questions for them, and it made me feel so good to allow them to ask me what they wanted to know, and I was able to help. So that was awesome. And uh, we exchanged phone numbers, email addresses, and stuff to stay in touch after the show. Jonah fell in love with Be So Sporty Bling yarn, and uh, he wants to make jewelry for his mom with it, so I gave him a hank of yarn, and uh, come to find out that he liked it so much he didn't think he was going to be able to work with it, so he's going to keep that hank, and uh, I'm going to send him a, a wound ball today. Like when you order the yarn, I wind it into a ball, and... Um, put it in a bag with the pot of rapture. Well, I'm gonna send him a second ball of the yarn today so that he can start making jewelry for his mom. He saw my Kelly earrings, you know, the ones that I made in bling, and he loved them and said he'd love to make those for his mom, and he'd love to make a necklace out of bling for his mom. So um, I was very excited to be able to uh, share my beautiful yarn with him. So that was exciting. Um, what else? Oh, I met so many wonderful people. I got to see people that I used to know. So you remember when I was on the other uh, knit, knitting and crochet TV show many years ago? Well, the same production company, director, producer, makeup artist in Cleveland are the same company that was hired for this season of Knit and Crochet Now. I don't know if they've always been together, but they were this season. So I got to see people that I've known for a really long time but haven't seen in several years. I think we, just, I think we um, concluded that it's been six years since I taped the other show. And uh, so I got to catch up with the makeup artist and the director and the producer and the sound guys and the whole crew. And it was really, really fun and exciting for them to see how much more experienced I am now that I have more than a thousand videos under my belt from my YouTube channel. And I was so incredibly honored to get that kind of compliment from both the director and producer. That was just oh, certainly the icing on the cake for a really awesome trip. Met amazing people from Annie's and looking forward to working with them again. Uh, what else? Saw designers that I haven't seen in a long time, like Melissa Strong or Melissa Leapman and Ron Strong. And then I got to meet new designers, Lee, Co Lee 
crochet Coco. Oh, I can't get her handle right. Her name's Lisa Tori. I met her and I met Tony Lipsy and Jonah Larson. Who else? And then I met oh, all sorts of people. It was really amazing. Uh, yeah, Lisa, all sorts of doors could open from this. Absolutely. So you probably also saw that I posted yesterday. I did not get the Sephora squad. <laughs> I did not make their semi-finalist list, uh, but that's okay. Uh, it was fun to do and it was fun to share with you. And I was so incredibly humbled by your enthusiasm for leaving testimonials for me. And I just want you to know, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And it's okay that this door wasn't the opportunity. As long as we keep pushing forward and looking forward and being positive, the right opportunities will come and that's okay. So um, still perfectly happy that I tried it. It's okay when you don't get something the first time. Um, will the TV show be on YouTube? No, it won't be on YouTube, but it, um, I will have information for all sorts of different ways to watch it even for people that don't get PBS. So there will be uh, lots of information about Knit and Crochet now when it's closer to the release date, but um, that you will, there will be opportunities to watch it for everyone around the world. So I'm excited to, um, I'm excited about that and we'll talk more about it as it comes along. Somebody mentioned that they recognize this blanket as a blanket from the finer edge and you are correct. Um, this is one of my tops from Amazon too, which I love. So this is an afghan that is a rectangle. So it's worked in the round as a rectangle. And then this gorgeous edging is worked perpendicularly and joined as you go by working this way. You work around the perimeter, turn the corner and then work that way. So really awesome project. Possible, I'll be getting the rights to all of my books back pretty soon and if that's the case I'll be able to teach you how to make this and a bunch of other projects so that will be fun uh, what else was I going to talk about today please uh, ask questions if you want if you want to know something about the um, uh, if you have questions about the trip the show just Please feel welcome to keep asking them. I'll answer anything that I can. Yeah, Barbara, the trim really jazzes this blanket up. You're right. It's a very simple blanket, but then it's two sets of two different types of edging. This one's worked to the body of the blanket. How did I do that? I don't even remember now. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Marlon's great. Thanks, Frieza B. He your new yarn car oh something about new yarn carnival i don't know what it said um good morning lily glad you could be here thanks for joining live so few other things have been going on while i was gone some shipments arrived and uh i have a new product to show you something that i've been wanting to manufacture for years and that is a new laundry bag so there's so many ways that you can use a laundry bag to keep your life organized and take care of your delicates, take care of your handmade items, and just keep your life organized in the washing machine. So this is a really generous sized laundry bag with a zipper on it so that you can you could put a whole blanket in there like this. You could put a whole sweater in there. You could put a couple of shawls in there. You could do, um, you could use different laundry bags for different people. What if you're washing for several people? You could put your socks and uh, lingerie in one bag and whoever else you live with, you could do their socks and lingerie in another bag um, or underwear, who, whether it's man or woman, whatever. Um, but you could organize everyone's different socks this way. You could have a different bag for different people, but even for hand washing and using your delicate cycle on the washing machine, it's fabulous for washing your baby items, your afghans, and all of your handmade sweaters and shawls. So they're really awesome for that. Great size, so you could do more than one thing at a time. So you can buy these on my website, they're $4.99. 
and uh, it would make a great gift. Like, let's say you've made something handmade for somebody. What if you added one of the bags and a bottle of Rapture to the gift? It would be a great little supplemental gift to go with whatever you're gifting somebody. Maybe you're gifting somebody a bunch of yarn. You could add these items to the gift. But if you're gifting something handmade, it would make it even more amazing as a supplemental gift. Because you know how sometimes we talk about that people, we worry that people don't know how to take care of the items we've handmade them? Well, now you can educate them right from the get-go. So you get them a lingerie bag or a laundry bag and a bottle of Rapture, and you write them in the note. You explain to them what they need to do. Um, I think that makes a really great gift for someone who's being introduced to hand washing or delicate washing. Um, it's also a product that I wanted to have on hand for when I make my donations to women's shelters for Project Kristen Cares because I feel like Rapture has always been something that I like donating in the bags. But I think that a laundry bag would be great also for helping somebody on the run or on the go uh, keep all their stuff organized too. So especially a lot of times women in shelters have little kids with them. So to be able to organize her own delicate separate from her kids might be really nice. So I have this cute little ribbon that I had printed with my website. Can you see how tiny that is? So tiny and adorable. So in my donation bags for Project Kristen Cares, I'm taking a big tote bag this week, a whole bunch of them actually, and I'm filling them each with a bottle of Rapture, a laundry bag, and what else am I putting in there? Oh, and a Create, Share, Inspire notebook. And sometimes, uh, did I make macaroni around in a mason jar? No, I haven't done that yet. Not yet. Um, really focused on getting layers crochet and layers knit books done right now. So until I finish those, everything else is on the back burner. Uh, but real quick, I so in the donation bags, I'm combining, I'm mixing up the Create, Share, Inspire notebooks, including some in Spanish and some in English. I don't know if you're aware that they're all five of the first issues are all available in Spanish as well as English on Amazon. And so I'm going to mixing mix up some of the donation bags with them in Spanish and English because the shelter that I'm going to be donating to is in an area that has a lot of Spanish speaking people. So I thought that might be a really nice surprise for people. Um, Jazzy, it does look handmade. I don't know which thing you're talking about. Oh, the jar on my table. Yes, I made this. Oh, this is not macrame. No, this is crochet actually. So I took be so dazzling and a bunch of different yarns. I think I took some be so bold and maybe some be so sporty bling. It's been a while since I made this, so I don't quite remember. And I made the flowers separate, just a simple crochet flower. And this is actually crochet chains. So like it's a chain seven and a single crochet. So it's just mesh around the top. The flowers are sewn on with their tails, which is so easy to do, right? You already have the tails, may as well use them for sewing. And then I added fringe at the bottom. So it's actually all crochet. And then I added beads to the little sections in between the fringe. Just something a little wild and crazy to have outside. Thank you, Barbara. It's been outside for a really long time, so the colors are faded, uh, but we get such intense sundown here. And at my last apartment, um, it was in direct sunlight outside, So, uh, but it's still gorgeous. <laughs> I still love it. Thanks, Lisa. They never did make a pattern for it, probably should. Oh, we have a visitor. Hi, sweetheart. This is Becker. Are you cold today too? Do you need a blanket? <laughs> I baby them like crazy, I can't help it. Uh, is that a wool blanket? I believe it has some wool in it. I don't know if it's 100%. Whoopsie. Okay. Uh, what would be nice in the jar as a treat? Um, I, I'll, I'll show you what I, what I like putting in there. I'll be right back. One of those LED candles. So these are those candles that aren't real. So there's no, uh,
I don't know how to turn it on. Did I do it right? They're not that old, so I couldn't have done it that wrong. Hmm. Well, anyway, if I figured out how to turn this on, um, it would go inside here, and that would be probably my favorite idea for filling the jar. We get so much rain here that I think putting anything else in there might get funky. Now, if the glass were clear, and the next time I find a clear jar, what I'd like to do is add some seashell, some sand from the beach and some seashells, and then a bigger version of this in the center. I think that would be gorgeous out here. So maybe like a hurricane, what do you call those glass jars or glass vases that call the hurricane jars or something? Um, so it's very, uh, it has no curves to it. It's just a big round cylinder of glass, and that would be really pretty to fill in there. Oh, do we have another? Hi, sweetheart. Okay. He's back. <laughs> yeah, that would be really pretty too. So we'll do that next. Oh, he's hiding his face. That's when he's being really cuddly is when he hides his nose in my arm. <laughs> oh, who's a baby? Mm. All right, we're going to have one other product in the store later today. And that is Eucalan Wipes. If you've never used Eucalan wipes before, so this is the company that makes Rapture All Natural Delicate Wash, this stuff. And so the unscented base of the cleaning solution is saturated onto a wet wipe, and these are miracle cures for stains. We'll do demos later in the week for it, but I'm gonna list them in my store later today, and they'll be a dollar a piece. I might do them in a bag like I do the Rapture Pods, but they're great to keep in your purse. If you have babies, they're great to keep in a diaper bag. They're great to keep in the car. They're incredible for traveling with, and they're great to keep, gosh, in your laundry room, in your bathroom, wherever. They're incredible. Uh, years ago, I did a live demo on TV with them. I uh, smeared some makeup on a vintage crochet doily, like some foundation makeup, and we took it off live on camera with one of the wipes. So I'm gonna do something like that again this week for you and you're gonna love it. And when you buy them and use them and keep them for emergencies, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Really cool product to have on hand. Good morning, Terry. Thanks for joining live. Yes, Lisa, everybody needs them. Kitty. Oh yeah, the kitties missed me terribly, yes. They had visitors every day. I had different friends come to visit them every day, but uh, they were crying like babies when I walked in the door Friday night. I got home really late Friday night, and they were crying like babies when I got here. Hmm. And they've been extra sweet and sucky ever since. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know why he hides his face, but it's just an extra little, an extra little cuddle he likes to do. Can you hear the birds? The birds are so pretty again this morning. Yeah, he's pretty adorable. They both are. His brother, Bjorn, he's got this thing where he's five years old, but he still likes to knead on my neck. And so late at night and sometimes early morning, he jams his face up into my neck and then needs with both paws up there. So it's pretty adorable. He's been doing it since a baby and never stopped. Yeah, they both never grew up, Lily. They um, have had them since babies and both have been, uh, both behave like babies to this day. <laughs> How lucky am I? Oh, what was I gonna tell you? Something prompted me to mention something else. Oh, and I forgot again. Oh, well, which brought me to another thing. So last week I mentioned, um, uh, yeah, the bougainvilleas are gorgeous, aren't they, Jazzy? I've got three or four different colors out here. Oh, oh, which reminds me, the bougainvillea, or not the bougainvillea, the plumeria has leaves on it. Can you see from where you're at? I'm moving the camera so you can see this because you know how incredibly excited I am about this tree. 
tree, especially since it was almost killed by the workers. Almost all of my branches have leaves on them now. Can you see that? Starting from top and all the way down. Hi, Terry. So there's leaves and new growth on almost all of the branches of the plumeria. So excited. And then here's all the different colors of the bougainvillea. Yeah, I'm incredibly excited about this tree. And you know what's even more exciting? In we live in a world where we don't get many surprises anymore. And I am forced to live in a state of anticipation for months now to find out A, what color my flowers are gonna be, and B, what they're going to smell like. And I'm so, oh, which, okay, brought me to the other thing I needed to remember. I told you guys, I shared a picture of my makeup artist while I was in Cleveland, taping for Knit and Crochet Now for Annie's, and for PBS, and I shared a picture of Karen with me, who's been my makeup artist for TV for many, many years. And she came up with a new solution for my dark circles under my eyes, which are really bad. And um, I told you that I'd be sharing the product once I came home. She introduced me to a thing called color correction. And it's a product you put on before concealer and before foundation. And um, she told me that if you find a peach correction, color correction thing, that it would remove the blue from the dark circles so that it is easier for the concealer and the makeup to hide them. Now, I have twofold problems with my under eye area. They are, my eyes are deep set, so there is actually a pocket here that shadows um, develop, and that's just part of my bone structure. So I have a pocket that gets a shadow, but I also have dark pigmented skin in here, which is genetic. It's also sun related. It's also diet related. There's all sorts of reasons that you can have dark circles. And I believe they get worse with age. <laughs> uh, no, this isn't an apartment, Christine. I was mentioning my last apartment that um, where this was on a balcony. Uh, so what I was saying, so now she introduced me to a peach correction, uh, a color correction type of makeup in color peach, and I apply that first, let it dry a few seconds or minutes, and then I add my concealer, and then I add my foundation, which I do a pressed mineral powder foundation, which I've told you about before, and I've added that, pro that new product to my Amazon shop if you wanna check it out. She even used the L'Oreal kind. She used the kind that's not expensive too. So I shared it in my Amazon shop. You can find it at amazon.com slash shop slash The link is also in the video description below. And um, I was gonna say, I think I noticed a difference. Now granted, I just admitted to you guys that I'm still tired from my trip. Um, we're not in great lighting this morning, so I don't know if you can really tell, but personally, I feel like my dark circles look a little better this morning. Someone just mentioned rosacea. Um, there are different color correction colors to handle redness and dullness and other skin issues. I'm using peach because that's the color that's supposed to be helpful for dark circles. Thanks, Lisa. I feel like it looks better this morning. Granted, we're not in great lighting, so it might be hard to tell, but uh, when I was putting my makeup on this morning, I thought I could tell that it, I looked brighter and less circly. <laughs> um, so let's come back around to, thanks, Iris. Let's come back around to Layers Knit and Crochet. I mentioned last week that if being on the road made it way too challenging to release, week 10 patterns last week that this week, week 11, I would double up and release two patterns. So during, I, can't, I don't know which day yet, but one day this week when I release the new patterns, it will be week 11 and there will be two new patterns for a total of 11 in both of the books. So um, that's what I promised last week. That was plan B and plan B turned into the main plan because it was just too much to, uh, work on other things while I was there. So that's the plan for this week. And so we will all be all caught up um, by the end of this week. 
yeah does anybody else have any questions thanks maya it's glad i'm glad to be back my tripod broke twice while i was out of town so that made it really difficult for doing the uh, podcast while i was away i hope you enjoyed the ones that i was able to do friday was just impossible though i uh I was in makeup at 7 a.m., did half of my taping segments in the morning, had a car drive me to the airport, and flew home all on the same day. Um, so getting up at 6 and not getting a.m. and not getting home till 10 p.m. and going full speed the whole time. Um, and in security is when my tripod broke for the second time. So I was planning on doing it from the airport and couldn't and so I just said okay we'll just have to wait till Monday <laughs> yeah it was a busy day oh thanks Grace thanks suggesting that if you enjoy the podcast to please give it a thumbs up I would love that if you like my podcast please feel welcome to subscribe to my channel click the bell notification button so that you can be notified every time I go live and click the like button if you like the podcast it's the way you can show me to keep doing what i'm doing and let me know that you like it thanks everybody for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me i hope you enjoyed the sunrise the bird songs the kitties the talk about yarn and products and creativity chatting with me and everyone else here let us make time to create share and inspire today and every day thanks everybody